you need to be very clear about whether or not you want to use this technique in terms of the significance of the relationship. And one thing that I would add to all of this is I use the term that um, other psychologists have used, awfulize the situation. Albert Ellis was the first to use that term, I think. And what I mean by that is think through what the worst outcome of doing this would be. So if it's my boss and my boss is a reasonable human being and I think, yeah, I, I can bring this up with the boss. Uh, I will be very careful to use I language. I'll be very careful to be very specific and descriptive and not use generalizations. And I'll practice it with a coworker who knows that boss and I'll have the, bo the coworker take the role of the boss and come back at me with what he or she thinks will really happen. And once I've been through that and I've awfulized it in my mind and I say, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to take that risk, fine. On the other hand, if I awfulize the outcome and I picture me being escorted out the building um, and I think, okay, I have some choices here. Uh, and my choices in any situation of this type are to either really let go of whatever's bothering me, um, just either through some internal work like meditation or using some kind of ritual like writing down everything that I want to say but then tearing it up and throwing it away instead of actually doing it. So I can do some internal work but, and truly let go of it. I can choose, as we've talked about, to really go through this with the boss. But the bottom line for me is that I don't choose to just talk about this situation with others because I don't think that gets me anywhere.